there, welcome to Watson's Daily TV. I'm Peter Watson and I'm here with my take on two major topics in today's business news distilled for you in three minutes. Can I beat this buzzer? Today I'm going to talk about Alibaba and Boots. So, it turns out that Chinese e-tailing beer moth is thinking about a secondary listing in Hong Kong later this year to raise about $20 billion. Alibaba listed in New York in 2014, raising $25 billion in the world's biggest IPO. But given the current fiery trade, tra trade chat going on between US and China, it seems like a wise move to spread its stock market presence. Alibaba may also be mindful of the fact that tech is going off the boil somewhat in the States at the moment, whereas demand is still hot in Hong Kong. If this goes ahead, it will be a major coup for the Hong Kong Stock Exchange and may prompt other Chinese companies with US listings to follow suit. The other thing I wanted to talk about today was Boots, the venerable high street pharmacist which was bought in 2014 by the US pharmacy Walgreens to form Walgreens Alliance Boots, is currently in the midst of a revamp under its new chief exec, Seb James, who took the top, uh, uh, the top job in September last year. He's already axed 350 jobs at HQ, but he's also trying to sort out its tired and messy format. At the moment, it looks like 200 stores could be vulnerable to closure, although none have been named specifically. This is just another retailer suffering from tricky trading conditions and a jaded offering that needs changing. For what it's worth, I always think of Boots as being in the same category as another high street stalwart, WH Smith, in terms of its tired format. Both of these chains have a decent high street presence. Uh, if they can sort out their offerings properly, then they could do very well in my opinion. WH Smith's ongoing moves to bring post office in store is, um, is a decent enough idea to increase footfall and is quite similar to my mind with Boots' role as the pharmacist doling out your medicines after a trip to the doctor. If the two can sort out an attractive format, I think that the audience is there. They ju both just need to execute properly. Other than that, in my Watson's Daily online blog that you can find on watsonsdaily.com, I talk about Gordon Ramsay's restaurant triumph, Global Payments' massive $21.5 billion purchase, and reactions to the Fiat-Renault merger. Anyway, Watson's Daily is intended to give you the essence of the day's commercial news with opinion. You can read the whole thing in anything between one and seven minutes, so please go to watsonsdaily.com to find out more if you're interested. See you tomorrow, and thanks for watching. Watson, out.